Students are telling us what they think about a proposed crackdown on social media. Last Sunday, 13 Investigates told you about two new bills that could change the way kids and teenagers scroll through their phone screens. Well, tonight, Tessa Bentulin shares why some teenagers say that legislation needs another look. Summer, I think we're less busy yeah, yeah. and you just have more time on your phone. These six teenagers are juniors and seniors at Albany Shaker High School. They all know each other through classes, clubs, or mutual friends. I asked them to sit down with me and tell me their perspective on social media. After all, they're the generation that grew up online. I started the discussion with one very basic question. For a show of hands, um, who has social media? No. I deleted it literally three days ago. Everything? Everything? Whoa. Yes, I did. That's Why did crazy. you delete everything? Because, if I'm being honest, college applications. Um, it's like real, like all the stress and all that, like it's like getting to me and like getting it done. It was like something that I was not going to do until I like deleted social media. Amanda Palmer, a senior at Shaker, is not the only one in this group to have deleted at least one social media account at one point in time. Amanda's answer started a broader conversation about how social media is addicting. It's almost like a comfort zone to yeah. just kind of pick up your phone. Yeah. When I deleted TikTok, like my hands were shaking for like months and like every time I went to open my phone, I would click on where it was. Like it was so yes. addicting. Yes. I was spending 14 hours a day on my phone. Like I don't even know how I was yes. doing that. Like I don't know when I was sleeping, but it was like, I need to stop. It was hard to find something else to do. Yeah. It, it like, I'm so addicted, definitely. I... Like it's just, a, it's a comfort. It's a, something you always go back to. It's, it's hard to like stop that immediately. I asked the group about these two bills that are being supported by Governor Kathy Hochul. The legislation would not let online platforms collect and share children's personal information. All it's the time. like so stupid that they can go in and sell all of our information, get all of our information. When like, just think about it, like to do all of, to do this interview today, we would have like, if you didn't already, like your parent had to like sign a form, like signing away that like we could like be out in public, right? Our yeah. parents are never signing that for like these social media companies. Right. And, and like, they're getting way more than just our name and our grade. The legislation would also restrict minors from accessing addictive algorithm based feeds unless they have parental consent. Instead, users under 18 will have a default feed from users they already follow. I feel like the thing that a lot of us use social media for is primarily like keeping in touch with our friends. And like, if we just have like the follow pages, then we can still see our friends' content and we won't be exposed to like the kind of toxic and negative side with like the personalized for you content that has like the opportunity to show you something like super horrible for you and then you get sucked in and you keep on seeing it. If we just limit it to the people we follow and we know, yeah. it first of all eliminates like just random strangers. Especially on TikTok, I feel that a lot of brands and other t creators kind of profit off of us. Mm -hmm. They try to sell us this product and you're in a wormhole and like you said, you just keep seeing that product over and over again. You just convince yourself, oh, maybe this will fix all my problems or something. Yeah. Yeah. So if you just limit that, I think it would be good. Even if like that aspect of it got taken away, I think that would do almost all good. Like yeah, to take away the yeah. advertising aspect yeah. exactly. would be huge. Yeah. When Governor Hochul announced the proposed legislation in October, she cited this U.S. Surgeon General report. It sounds the alarm against social media use for kids and teens and how it can negatively impact mental health. Has anyone ever struggled with mental health? because of social media has a oh, play. Yeah. It's definitely. definitely exacerbated my issues. Yeah. Yeah. There was a time where I would like cry when I was like seeing my friends hanging out and like I'm not with them. Yeah. They're like posting on their stories or something like that. Like that would get to me so like deep to me. Like that would make me so upset. I'm gonna share a personal experience. So there's this part yeah. of Twitter that's very bad. It's called eating disorder Twitter. And basically what is it is, is it's this group of people who all have eating disorders and it's a lot of the people on there are like pro eating disorder and they'll encourage that sort of behavior and so i was on there for a long time maybe like two years um and i've saw horribly disgusting stuff on there even when i like sort of felt like i was recovering from my eating disorder i would still be like super addicted to that part of twitter and i'd still be like 
it like traps you in, you know. I also asked the group what their overall thoughts on the bills were. I think they need to be revised a little bit, but I do think yeah. the idea behind them is completely correct and valid. Yeah. And I think it loses some nuance with like online communities and like the fact that not all social media is just addictive algorithms. Like that's a big part of Instagram and TikTok and Twitter, but that's not the whole story. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important because there are people who are communicating through those platforms who are making meaningful relationships that do need to reach each other mm -hmm. as kids. And especially I think during the pandemic, that community was really, really important for a lot of people and in ways it did help some people's mental health. Super great that like the state is trying to do this, but I definitely think like what Pranjal said earlier, like a tiered approach would be better than just like going cold turkey, like work up to like something as extreme. Cause like, I feel like that's like giving a lot of power away from like teens. Like we're trying to find ourselves, right? We're trying, yeah. like, we're trying to like discover ourselves in the adult world. And like by the state taking that away, it's kind of like taking away that opportunity for us.